this this has to be black or this is it this is what the moment i was waiting for i've never done black order versus doc ock right that's awesome i haven't seen his s6 in a long time yeah uh so let's try uh 160k punch up with black order right this has got to work um I have healer on Thanos, so I actually might need it for, uh, let's see, Skirmisher, Skirmisher, Raider, Striker. I normally put Striker on Thanos, though. I need to, I wish I could swap this shit from here. I hate that so much. Just don't hit Auk? Or why not? Yeah, I probably need to focus down Electro and, like, Shocker first, because they're pretty weak. Um... Here, I gotta back out real quick. I gotta go. I gotta go switch Thanos's uh, thing. God damn it, game! Mm, yeah, somebody's probably gonna take that team in the meantime. And we got Skirmisher on Prox, that should be fine. And then I got Raider on uh, Corvus, which should be okay too. Uh, I hate The thing I hate most about ISOs is how much of a pain in the ass it is to switch them. Like, it is so annoying, like, how much you have to go back and forth through menus, and then there's, like, an endless tunnel of menus to even, like, upgrade and do stuff with them. It's just... Like, I don't know. Like, to me, it just feels like an unfinished product right now. All right, so we got a big Maw. We got a big Thanos. Uh, I'm going to put Thanos behind um, Corvette, or put Thanos behind Cull, though. Um, just get those extra attacks back at them, right? Now it's 599 because of the 10% uh, damage, right? So it's actually only 158k punch up now. Yeah, so this is crazy. Um,. Let me check something here real quick. Pull up my trusty guide here. So they aren't going to get the offense downs, unfortunately. Uh, but let's go for it. Let's see what we can do. This should be fun. Look, the Doc Ock load screen. How appropriate. <laughs> it is recording. I'll upload it later. Alright. So I think... We want to go for Electra and Shocker because they should have the least health out of this group here. Um, so we'll just go ahead and start applying the bleeds on them. Um, I don't think we can do offense down. It's not going to do anything because they're just going to resist it. But let's go with the double attack on Shocker. See if we can get him down before the offense up drops. And then, yeah, that'll bring up him, right? And then we just need to focus down um, Shocker. Uh, he is going to get it off. Damn. And then we'll save the Thanos flip for this next turn here. Do defense up just to be safe. They aren't going to get offense down, obviously. Ooh, but my guys get offense down. So they'll get offense up if we flip it here in a sec. Ouch! Don't kill my Proxima. Can't flip all that. Two bleeds. All right. Oh, man. All right. Uh, well, our little buddy there, Shocker, uh, took, a, took a dirt nap. <laughs> And there goes the Rhino Summon. Uh, this may be a little easier than I thought it would be. Let's go ahead and stun Doc. There we go. That's nice. They get the turn meter reduction there from Vulture, but the reason, yeah, the retaliations take him out. Electro looked like he tried to do something there, but then uh, she also fell down. Um, and then we're going to just do, let's see, we're going to break up an asteroid, and then we're going to throw chunks at people. Because that seems like a, a good idea. And then the striker from Thanos also follows up with a secondary attack. 
And uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, this is just super OP. So watch this. So I don't know if the basic will kill him, but I think the ISO will. Oh yeah, 114K even on the block. Yeah, so Proxima did die there. So, I mean, it's not like they were completely invulnerable or something. Uh, it's just Black Order just kills everything. Yeah, that was a bit of overkill. Yeah, but it's it's just Black Order is the best attack team in the game. So give me an 800k team, it'll still kill it, you know? It's just how it is, unfortunately. And then you can see here, uh, so that was mine. And then he used a 580 Black Order to take out that Mercs. Uh, if you want to look at some of the, the other things, let's see, there's a 468 X-Men that failed on a 517 punch-up, uh, about 50k on uh, Mercs there with Shuri. Uh, here's a, a big X-Men taking out a S6 with no Doc Ock. Oh no, what is this? Oh, it's the leftover S6 with Symbiote and Carnage. Wow, that's interesting. And we got uh, another Black Order versus Marauders, big kill there, not surprising. And we got X-Men versus uh, Shield, uh, that's an easy kill. Let's see, a combat cancel with uh, X-Force trying to punch up, oh my god, 180k on Mercs? Yeah, that is going to fail, definitely. Uh, I'd be surprised if you kill even Merc Lieutenant. <laughs> Oof. Uh, then we got Symbiotes with Zem versus uh, Asgardians on a 60k punch up. That's very fair. Um, X Force versus whatever this is. Brawlers with Captain Marvel. Oh, Young Avengers with Captain Marvel. Yeah, Young Avengers sucks. They, they yeah, just ugh, look at that. Get wrecked. <laughs> uh, X Men versus this thing. Oh, that worked on a. 70k punch up so I, that aim team with captain marvel just i want to see how that works in action i've never seen that on defense i'm really curious to try that so i assume some others are going to have that i'll try my x-men against it later once we find another uh we had a bh2 fail against the young avengers yeah so young avengers um they they do semi counter black uh, brotherhood and the only reason why is because squirrel girl goes so early and cleanses and then captain marvel also doesn't care about your blinds so um, she always cleanses turn one, even if you don't use the blind. So you just have to use that to your advantage and, you know, like use the special or something on Ms. Marvel and then blind them turn two if you can. But you have to survive that long too. So, you know. Um, and then we got an X Force punch up on Doc Ock barely. There's 10k here, not not a big one. And you can see they won that pretty handily. That's a seven red uh, X23 right there, but that's huge. Oof. All right, and then let's see what's below here. We got Armory on this side. Um, that is a big ass aim team. Oof. Hey, look at this Kree team. Oh man. <laughs> Funny, 626 Hydra team. Wow, now that's where you'd use, I kind of wonder if you'd want to use it in humans with Zem to punch up on that one because that would. that's rough, oof. Man, seven red, seven red, six red, six red, five red. Oof. That's it. And then seven red grab, seven red uh, scientist supreme. Jeez. It's the number of seven reds on these guys is just nuts. Over here in engineering. Oh, we got another. Yeah, I think this team was here earlier, but yeah, 648. Um, and then we got another Doc Ock team here. Hmm. I don't know why we're hitting both sides. We probably shouldn't. Yeah, and this, yeah, and our, our alliance is, you know, 50 million below these guys. So it's like, you know, we have no chance of winning this. We're just trying to get attacks in before they take out our armory and hangar and stuff. Because it at least gives us a fighting chance to finish some stuff. So, yeah. Alright. So, anyway, I think I'm good here. Uh, let me do something real quick here. Where are they? Oh yeah. Yeah, they're already eating through our defense. All right, just checked. We're good. I already did the DD1 speed run. It didn't go very well. I only got like 13 minutes or something. Uh, let's see, defense victories. Five for clue. Oh, three for toasted, wow. I guess these guys are screwing around with some attacks. Two for Batman. And nobody else. So they've failed five times. 
Uh, big difference in war since ISO 8? I would say that all the ISO 8s greatly favor the player than it does the AI. And I would say that ISO 8 makes war much easier because it allows you to refine your attack teams to be much, much, much stronger and more dedicated towards your goal of like whatever you're trying to kill with them. Like I, you saw me, I just switched that Thanos over from healer to striker because in raids you want healer and strike it in, in, you know, attacks like war and arena, you want striker, right? And uh, yeah, because we're also adding a whole bunch more damage. Look at all the buffs and stuff, right? So you're getting eight percent on like at level four, you're getting eight percent on all these different attributes, plus another ten or twenty percent health on top of that. Plus, uh, like with this one, I'm getting another what uh, ten percent damage base, right? And then another little attack here for seventy-five percent damage on vulnerable targets. Uh, vulnerable also increases damage by ten percent. So yes, uh, definitely the like ISO makes makes things faster it makes it easier uh, all around pretty much so anyway all right 